Welcome to part one of our split dodge series. Today we're going to be talking about the split dodge and setting up our two-step footwork in order to create the most separation and deception that we can within our split dodge move. So one thing that you might have seen in different drills that we have on our platform is that we like to use two cones to make sure that we're making two separate steps to sell our move and what I like to call stagger our footwork. So if you see here, we have two cones, one cone set up closer to where you're gonna make your first step and the second cone staggered on a little bit of a diagonal from that first cone. This is gonna remind us and give our players cues to when we approach our defender, we're making sure that we're really getting that one, two step to then explode out opposite. One thing that I think I see a lot of in players is that when they go to make their split dodge or their move, they end up getting a really wide base. So one thing you might see with players as we're going through this dodge, or if you're watching video of yourself, is that this first step, people tend to get outside of their body. If my first step gets too far outside of my body, when I make my second step, now you see immediately that my base is really wide. Almost like forming a triangle here. When we get to this point, my, I lose explosion for my right foot in this case, and it makes it harder for me to separate and drive opposite, therefore making it harder to get more separation quickly from my defender. So when I'm staggering my footwork, we talked about not getting too wide of a base. We wanna think about that first step kind of being at the defender, and that second step wider and jab. This allows me to still have my feet underneath my base, allowing my leg to have power when I explode opposite. Think about a little cadence in your mind that when you're coming up, that you're getting a quick one, two, and you're popping out of your dodge versus one, two, and having the timing be the same. We want to be explosive and really move out so when I attack these cones, I get that one, two, and then I pop out of it. The second piece of our split dodge that we really need to focus on is making sure that we're deceptive with our upper body. If you watch any other sport, basketball or receivers in football or running backs in football, players are using their eyes, their shoulders and their body language to really sell the move. One thing I think happens a lot in lacrosse because we have this stick that we're carrying, a lot of players, men's and women's, tend to get really stiff with their upper body and not allow their bodies to move freely. And this is something that I really want us to focus on when we're making our split dodge. When we take our first step, I want you to think about opening your shoulders in the same direction as you're making that step. That's going to give that deception that you're setting up your dodge one way and then when you step with your second step, you're opening back up the other way and you're letting your head snap and your eyes turn as you make your move. When you let your head move freely back and forth or dip to the side, that's gonna give you that added layer of deception, selling that your body is aggressively moving towards one side and then as you make your move, then coming back to the opposite. The last piece to think about is what we do with our stick as we dodge. Some people will talk about letting your bottom hand come outside your body and kind of bringing that stick in line and in rhythm with your steps. I want you to think about doing that and letting that stick be free, but also as we make our move and you're ready to come back, punching that top hand across your chest to help get your shoulder through and get your body skinny. The term skinny is one that we want to think about because as you make your move, you don't want to let your chest remain square. This gives a defender more area to get a cross check on you. We want to make sure we punch, get that shoulder turned, and now there's less area that they can dig into. And now we're skinny and we're able to bear down on our defender. Thanks for checking out this breakdown. Make sure you comment any questions or feel free to message me and reach out. Looking forward to showing you part two when we talk about the skip split.